Okay, so I want to give an opportunity for Alessia and Zhao to weigh in on this topic. And I think uh, we'll come to you first, Alessia. But the question in my mind is, you know, there's been this argument for some time that gas and renewables are frenemies, so to speak. Like they they compete, but they also complement each other. You know, does nuclear complement renewables? Do you think nuclear has the ability to eat the growth narrative uh, for renewables in any way, uh, at least this decade. How, how do you think about that topic, Alessia? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I definitely think there's a lot of synergies between natural gas and renewables. Um, a, a big criticism against renewable energy is the intermittency factor. Um, natural gas really does bridge that gap along with battery storage. As far as nuclear goes, maybe it would be a bit even more of a frenemies kind of situation. But honestly, I see a world where you can have everything. Like you, you're not going to have sun 100% of the time. You're not going to have wind 100% of the time. If anything, maybe nuclear can take the spot of natural gas and kind of fill that mix to be more of a greener energy mix if you want to consider nuclear to be green. Joe. Uh, I want to. I want you to weigh in on this topic as well. Uh, your companies, uh, from your note out this morning, have some pretty impressive uh, compound annual growth rates tied to the renewable investment cycle. Uh, and you know, they're in many ways they're growth stories. Are you worried nuclear or batteries or hydrogen? Are we 